Alright B and welcome back to my channel or if you're brand new then make sure you hit the subscribe button <laughs> and turn on your bell <laughs> so you will be notified every single time that I upload. And guys welcome back to Britmas in July and now August. So 3 a.m. The witching hour, the devil's hour, the haunting hour, dead time. Why is this hour so crucial in the paranormal world? Well, they say it's because it's the hour where the veil between our world and the spirit world is at its thinnest. So it's the best time to make communication, especially if you're at a haunted location or you're trying to get some kind of communication. Maybe it's in your home or like wherever you are. If you're experiencing paranormal activity, this is usually the best hour to test it out to see if anything's gonna come through and, you know, communicate with you. This is the hour where many people have experienced something. Something. But what is it? Is it evil? Is it a demon? People put the demons and 3 a.m. together, but I believe anything in the spirit world is listening to you at all times. So I thought tonight we would get into some scary stories involving real people about their experiences during the devil's hour, 3 a.m. So viewers beware, you're in for a scare. You might not want to listen to this video after midnight. <laughs> Better yet, you might not want to watch this video at 3 a.m. Because you want to know why? This video was cursed. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is, it's not, trust me. So, are you up for the challenge to watch this video the entire way through? Let me know in the comment section below if you made it to the end and let me know which story was the scariest in your opinion. So I found these stories on storypick.com and these are scary AF 3 a.m. stories that will make you terrified, terrified <laughs> of the devil's hour. That's what it says. So let's get into it, shall we? This first story is known as figure behind. I had a weird experience last night. I woke up at 3.30 a.m. I was on my bed lying down and I saw a shadow or a figure behind the curtain of my room. That curtain was near my washroom door. I looked at it. I heard a sound like a growl. It made that sound when I was actually trying to get up to see what it was, but I was all paralyzed. I was trying to shout at it, but I could not even open my mouth. All I could do was just make a hmm sound. All of a sudden, I was normal again. I got up in full anger and searched for it. So reading that, my first thought was sleep paralysis. Being paralyzed, not being able to move, not being able to scream or say anything, that's what I'm thinking of. And especially during the 3 a.m. hour, that's when a lot of people experience sleep paralysis. I also have so many videos about sleep paralysis. Oh my god, I don't know which one I'm going to leave above. Maybe all of them, maybe a few of them. <laughs> maybe my most recent one, my most recent sleep paralysis experience that I had, which was terrifying. But I was so excited at the same time. Like, it made my entire week after that incident because it was just so iconic. So definitely check it out. The next story is known as down the stairs. When I was little, I would always sleep with my door open. I went through a phase where I would wake up between three o'clock and four o'clock a.m. every night. And every single night, I would hear footsteps walking up my stairs around my living room, through my dining room, across my kitchen, and down my hallway. They would always stop right before my doorway, then turn around and go back into the basement. But one night, they didn't stop. What I saw was a shadow of a little girl or boy, I couldn't tell, walk right in front of my doorway, look at me for a few seconds, then it walked away, back down the stairs. I slept with the door closed the next night. This next story is called Staring. My story begins about a year ago when I was sleeping in one of the rooms in my parents' house. I suddenly awoke in the middle of the night at exactly 3 a.m. I stared at my alarm clock when it suddenly turned 3.01 a.m. For some reason, I was staring out at the window towards my neighbor's backyard. All of a sudden, their outdoor light turned on for about a minute or so before automatically shutting off. There was no ordinary outdoor light though. My neighbors had one of those sensory lights that automatically turned on when someone approached the door or got close to it. What was most interesting about this event was that no one was seen going in or out of their house through that door. If there was, I would have been able to see their shadows, 
but in this case, the lights just turned on for no apparent reason. I did not think about the possibilities until after I awoke and until after I started hearing about 3 a.m. being the most spiritualistic time of day. This next story is known as over the phone. I wake up at three sometimes. The night my mom died, I woke up at 3.11. A year later, to the date of her falling into her death sleep, she was in a hospice and it took her two days to actually pass. I woke up at 3.11. Then the phone rang and for the next hour and a half, my husband and I had call after call of no one there. And sometimes we'd hear like someone was trying to talk. It was freaking creepy because it didn't sound of this world. This one is called It Lurks. Ever since I was a child, I have had nightmares where someone drags me out of my bed. I wouldn't be able to talk or breathe. I know this is probably sleep paralysis. The thing is, I grew up Catholic and have always had a fear of the devil. I always wake up at 3 a.m. and pray and turn on my TV until it is 4. I used to joke that I had a demon following me to my friends because I always felt like someone was watching me. Last year, while visiting a friend, I made another joke about my demon haunting me. And right after I made the joke and walked away from the closet I was standing in, a bag fell from the top shelf right down to where I was standing. The next day, my friend and I took a picture together and behind me was an orb-like flash with a clearly visible and ominous face. It made both of us cry. When I moved to my new and current place, things seemed to subside and I felt normal again. But now I am having sleep paralysis again and waking up at three in fear for my life. As soon as I wake, I stare at one corner of my room because I feel like a presence is there. Last night, I had another nightmare where I was trying to call out for help because I felt like something was going to drag me out of bed. I woke up and my fiance turned and looked at me and growled. I choked him and screamed and he woke up very angry because he didn't know what was going on. He used to make fun of me and pretend to be a demon and do this so I thought he was messing with me, but I was still so frightened. I know what his snores sound like and I know what I saw. I can't tell anyone because no one will believe me, but I fear for my life now more than ever. I am 12 weeks pregnant and so stressed out that I fear I will miscarry. Oof. Wow, so which story freaked you out the most? let me know in the comment section below. And let me know if you've ever had a weird experience at 3 a.m. I know I have. I know majority of you guys have. It's pretty crazy when you wake up at 3 a.m. almost every night or like a few times a week or whatever. Even if you've ever just woken up at 3 a.m. once in your life, it's still weird. I remember for the longest time, I was waking up at 4 a.m. or 4.44 a.m. if you guys know. <laughs> Fours are just, well, four is my number, or 44, because of pretty 44, or 444. I see fours everywhere I go. Four is my life path number as well. So it's, it's weird, and I see fours everywhere I go. It's just a part of my life. It's how my angels communicate with me. It's just them telling me things, confirming things. It's so crazy, but I live, I love it so much. So definitely check out my video about the fours and about angel numbers and their meanings. Even though I believe that you assign, there is a general meaning towards every number you see, but I believe that you assign that specific meaning to these numbers when you see them. So there is a general meaning, but I always, this is what I always tell everybody, what were you thinking right before you saw those numbers? That is your answer right there. So let me know down below which numbers you've seen <laughs> as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As always, you rock my world and the song lyrics, Michael Jackson, hashtag team, pretty 44, hashtag book with the Hey, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.